In cars with engines 2.0 HDI, TTCI and D, EGR valve is located behind the engine. Exhaust gases pass through silver pipe to inlet manifold. EGR cooler is located next to the valve. Before we start to disassemble the valve, let's disconnect battery first. Now start with removing bracket that holds fuel line and silver pipe. Remove two Torx screws next to the inlet manifold. Disconnect plug on the EGR valve now, so you have better access to two screws holding the pipe. After removing those two screws, you can remove silver pipe from the car. With endoscope camera, I'm looking inside the EGR to just check its state. There's not much soot on the walls, but still I'm going to remove and clean it. Now remove two screws that hold EGR and cooler together. Try locking pin and disconnect coolant hose so you have better access to the bottom one. Now remove screws that attach valve to the engine. There are two or three of those depending on your car's production year. Gently remove the valve from engine bay.
press on the yellow latch and disconnect engine breather. For better access, you can move a side glow plug harness. Remove metal clip and disconnect second coolant hose. Remove copper nut that holds the cooler. Unfortunately, I cannot show you that place with my camera. Remove heat shield. Now EGR cooler holds only on two nuts directly connected to the exhaust manifold. After unscrewing those nuts, you can remove EGR cooler from the car. Suit inside EGR valve can cause it not to close properly. This will let through exhaust gases and mix them with fresh air. After removing plastic cover, you can check valve mechanism. It should move freely. With a brush and petroleum ether, remove soot from the mechanism and valve itself. In this engine, EGR valve with the cooler are not responsible only for low emission. Cooler recovers heat from exhaust and helps your engine to warm up faster in winter. Also, EGR valve helps with turning the engine off and spooling down the turbocharger. Take a look at the seal between inlet manifold and pipe. If it leaks, you will lose boost pressure. <laughs> 